1949 International Motor Exhibition opened at Earl's Court on time in spite of the strike. True, the finishing touches were still being hurriedly made, but there were plenty of new models on show for those British motorists who are used to the frustration of wanting what they can't have. The latest Studebaker with a sort of supersonic line will probably set a new motor car fashion in the years to come. The Jaguar 3.5, fastest production model in the world, looked sleek, slim and attractive. Attributes which also applied to the Alvis and its passengers. Visitors were allowed revealing glimpses into the works of our latest models. This is the well-known Minx. And the new Jowett Javelin with its flat four engine and tubular construction. The Austin Atlantic appeared for the first time as a fixed head saloon. The new V8 pilot to carry eight passengers will doubtless be in great demand by Aberdonian taxi drivers. But the really new British cars created most attention. The Triumph Mayflower seems excellent value for money in the light car field, and it makes a welcome change to see a vertical radiator instead of the now familiar dollar grin. Then there was the new Rover, embodying the well-tried features of that famous make, combined with all the very latest refinements that overseas buyers appreciate. Yes, for anybody who had a few thousand dollars to spend, it was a grand show. <laughs>